5 Minute Fitness Friday. Last week we talked about squats. This week our focus is going to be on the plank. All right, let's talk about the plank. There's a couple different ways to plank. Come down to all fours, and you want your wrists right under your shoulders. You're going to roll up on your toes so that your back is flat, your butt is down, and your abs are tight. So this is one way to plank. The focus that I'm going to talk about today is planking on your forearms. So in this plank, your elbows are right under your shoulders. That back is flat, the butt is down, abs are tight. Look at where my hands are. They're parallel to each other. No praying hands. When you bring your hands together like this, you shift your weight load from your core, which is what we're focusing on today, to your upper body so that you're supporting yourself with your upper body. So when you bring your arms out parallel like this, you're focusing more here, which is what we want. So keep those arms parallel, back flat, butt down. A uh, common mistake that I see is butts up in the air because your core is just not strong enough to hold you down here. Another thing that happens is, do you see how my back is arching down? Again, core strength. So if your back is arching down like this, you want to draw that belly button up. You want a flat back and you just hold it. Now, of course, tough. You might not be able to be here for very long. If you cannot do your core or your, I'm sorry, your plank on your toes, just come down to your knees and you can plank on your knees until your core gets a little bit stronger that you can do it up on your toes. So if you are on your knees though, you have to make sure that your butt is still down. This isn't a plank. You're not hitting your core when you're doing this. So if you want to plank on your knees, you need to squeeze those butt cheeks together because when you do that, when this is tight, you automatically tighten your abs up. So here you are on your knees with your butt cheeks squeezed. My back is still flat and my abs are tight. So if you want to plank on your knees, this is how you do it. With both planks, you need to breathe. A lot of people hold their breath because they're working hard. They don't realize that they're doing it. You need to breathe through a plank. So here's on your knees, here's on your toes. Now when you're doing your plank, when you're holding it, if you're timing yourself, you want to time yourself just until you're losing your form. If you feel the back start to arch down as you start to get tired, don't keep timing. You only want to time as long as you have good form in your plank, okay? So try it out and see how your form is on your plank. So there's many um, plank challenges out there on Facebook. So I have a challenge for you, but it's not quite, you don't have to plank for five minutes. What I want you to do is get good form with your plank, time yourself. If that's 30 seconds, that's fine. Whatever your maximum time is, see what it is. And when you're doing your timing, put some music on. If you're just sitting here looking at the mat while you're planking, it's hard. And it, it's not gonna, you're not gonna be able to do it as long if you're just staring at the floor. But if you have, say, your favorite song on, you're thinking of the song in your head. Just remember to keep good form when you're doing it. So once you have your base time of what you can do, each day do a plank and try to add five seconds onto that time. At the end of the week, see if your time has gone up, if you could add five seconds every day. And if you're planking on your knees, see if by maybe the end of the week, you can come up on your toes, even for a little bit, even for 10 seconds. So challenge yourself this week. See what you can do with the plank. See you next week. Hey guys, if you just watched this video and you're thinking to yourself, Jen, I can do those planks. I need a little bit more of a challenge. Come back down into your plank. I'll show you just a few little extra things you can do to challenge yourself a little more. Again, make sure you have good form start. You can tap out to the side, alternating legs. You can lift alternating legs. Or you can tap your heel with your opposite toe. But again, you have to make sure that you're keeping your good plank form while you're doing all these variations. So there's just a couple extra things if you want to add those to your plank routine. Thanks.